Welcome to Vespers on the Lanai. I'm so glad you've tuned in. If we don't know one another, my name is Liz Levitt, and I'm pastor at Christ Church Uniting, which is an inclusive, progressive congregation in Kailua, Hawaii, and also the host of this event. Now, typically on this first Friday night of the month, a group of us would be settling into the green space adjacent to our church with our camp chairs and picnic dinners, getting ready to enjoy some great local music and an opportunity to be together as neighbors. Now, of course, our current situation will not allow us to gather in that way, so we are offering in this virtual format some elements of that experience. Now, of course, we cannot replicate here online the exact ethos of Vespers. We can't reproduce in electronic format the gentle trade winds or the rising moon or the rain that so frequently drives us inside and especially not the experience of greeting friends and neighbors. But we still wanted to bring you this material because we think it's important, especially in these days, to have opportunities to nourish our souls, to nourish them with that special language that is music, and also with that special language that is poetry. And that is because our souls are being asked to do some heavy lifting in these strange days. Managing our own grief and pain, adapting to new realities and technologies, and also bearing an immense amount of uncertainty and fear about the future. We started Vespers during a difficult season of political divisiveness and global unrest because we wanted our gift to our community to be space, space for experiencing and practicing welcome and peace and thoughtfulness and forbearance. We wanted to take great music and match it with open-minded opportunities to reflect on things that really mattered to our hearts. And we still want that to be our gift. So despite the technological challenges, we are coming to you to give you this space and this time, hoping that it will feed you in some small way that you need. Perhaps we are hoping there might also be some unexpected benefits of this new endeavor. I know that there are some new friends that are able to join us in this way at a distance. And so I return to my original word, which was welcome. Welcome to our faithful Vespers attendees who would be with us there in person tonight if that's how we were gathering. Thanks for making the leap to join us here online. Also welcome to any new folks who may be with us trying this out. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to folks who tried to join us last month when we were bested by technological difficulties. We appreciate your giving us a second chance. And also welcome to our musical guest, Harry Koizumi. Thanks for being willing to take another stab at interacting in this virtual way. You know, this is Harry's third time at Vespers and we never tire of his soothing work on the guitar and his warm voice and his gentle spirit. I'm so glad he'll be a part of this offering. It's a real gift, so thank you, Harry. As you know, if you've attended before, I'll sprinkle in some spoken offerings in between the musical sets this time on the theme of strength. As always, you are invited to take what speaks to you and just to leave behind what doesn't. It's meant to be a gift. And now, since there are no logistics to review, your restrooms are your own and your snacks are your own, I'm just going to turn it over to Harry so that we can enjoy some great music. And welcome again to virtual Vespers on the Lanai. Hey, aloha, welcome to Vespers. Honored to be asked back again. So I'll start the set by playing uh, three of my favorite Remin Kane songs that got me started in this slack key world. So the first song I'll do is called Hawaiian Reverie. It's a song from the 1930s. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hoi and Reverie. Uh, the second song that got me interested is Raymond Kane's version of an old song called La Paloma, which is actually originally written in Cuba in the 1830s, and it became, the melody became famous all over the world. So here's a, a Paniolo version of La Paloma. called La Paloma. So here's the third song. Uh, this one is called Pua Sardina. Pua means flower and it's about the flower, or, uh, the gardenia flower. So Raymond said that uh, he was picturing a one lonely gardenia flower right next to a waterfall when he wrote the song. So here's Pua Sardina.
I have three poems for you, all on the theme of strength, and particularly strength in difficult circumstances. I'll start with Heavy by Mary Oliver from the collection Thirst. That time I thought I could not go any closer to grief without dying, I went closer and I did not die. Surely God had a hand in this, as well as friends. Still, I was bent, and my laughter, as the poet said, was nowhere to be found. Then said my friend Daniel, brave even among lions, it's not the weight you carry, but how you carry it. Books, bricks, grief, it's all the way in the way you embrace it, balance it, carry it when you cannot and would not put it down. So I went practicing. Have you noticed? Have you heard the laughter that comes now and again out of my startled mouth? How I linger to admire, admire, admire the things of this world that are kind and maybe also troubled. Roses in the wind, the sea geese on the steep waves, a love to which there is no reply. A second offering is a poem by Brian Doyle from the collection How the Light Gets In. It's entitled Poem for My Uncle on His 100th Birthday. Let's pick one moment from any number of candidates. The year is 1929. Let's say it's December and snowing. This is Pittsburgh, you know. My uncle is 16 years old and has been saving money to go to Notre Dame since he was eight. He has done every kind of job a kid can do those years. He has shoveled and carted and carried and dug and planted and delivered and built and repaired and painted and invested. And he's got just enough for freshman year. That's $650, which will pay for tuition, room, food, laundry, but not books. He's not worried about the books, those he can borrow. His dad calls him into the warm kitchen. They sit at the table. The news is delivered. Grandfather rests his hand on his oldest son's shoulder for a moment and then goes down into the city to look for work. Right here, now, here's the moment for us to watch. My uncle sits silently at the kitchen table. There's a radio burbling somewhere and his brother and mother's upstairs. Where they live, away up on a hill on the west side of the city, you can still see hawks. It's snowing, but not really hard. And he just sits there, staring at the snow. In a while, he'll get up and proceed and go into insurance and marry twice and have seven children and be famous among nephews for being the quietest, smilingest, calmest uncle in history. But let's just sit with him at this kitchen table for a while. His whole life just broke and the snow didn't even pause, but we can. Let's watch reverently as he gathers himself and starts over. The snow will finish just before nightfall. And lastly, how about this? A quote from Khalil Gibran. He writes, you have been told that even like a chain, you are as weak as your weakest link. This is but half the truth. You are also as strong as your strongest link. To measure you by your smallest deed is to reckon the power of the ocean by the frailty of its foam. Thanks, and I'm gonna turn it back over to Harry.
That was a five song medley that uh, Raymond Kane taught me, of five traditional old songs. So here's a song that I wrote. This is called Audrey Song. It's called Audrey's Song. Okay, this next song I like to do is a song that uh, was co-written with an old student of mine, uh, Sean Miles. Some years back, uh, when he was a student, he was writing all kinds of instrumentals in different tunings. So I invited him to my house one, one day, and he started playing some of these songs, and I started to kind of make up stuff along with him. And it just kind of fit. So the week later, we went ahead and recorded this one song, and we decided to call it Kai Elua because we found out that that's the origin name for, original name for the area of Kailua. Kai is, K-A-I is uh, the ocean water, and Elua means the number two. It means two currents. So we're like two currents. Um, I'm playing something that he doesn't know what I'm, you know, I'm doing, and vice versa. We're in different tunes, but matched. So um, in the old CD, there's a recording of Kai Elua, but then I re-recorded it later with just my part, so I call this song Kai.
Thanks, Harry. I recognize as I'm recording this that it's Mother's Day weekend and also that my own mother may be able to watch this for the first time ever since we're streaming online and so I'll tell a story about her. A few years ago I found a folder of images on a digital album of old family photos, one which I'd not seen before. The folder was labeled Mom Before Dad and in it were all of these pictures of a young woman I recognized as my mother and also did not recognize at all. I had known that she was an accomplished outdoors woman in the time before she had a family, but the reality of that had never really settled in until I opened that folder. Here she was in crampons, very near the summit of Mount Rainier, elevation 14,411 feet. Here she was in a wetsuit on a dock near Clear Lake, a freshwater mountain lake, elevation 3,000 feet, average annual temperature 39 degrees. Here she was smiling with a friend as they took a break from backcountry skiing. Here she was trekking through an incredibly remote part of Eastern Oregon. As I continued to click through the photos, more amazed by each new image than I had been by the last, a word popped into my head, and that was strong. It was not a surprise. I knew my mother to be a strong person, but still, it was a sort of revelation a new way of understanding someone I thought I knew already, a new type of strength made known. And you know, seeing those images not only enriched my understanding of my mother, it also changed the way I saw myself, giving me some license to be strong too, to strike out into my own wildernesses where before I had thought myself not nearly robust enough to go. You know, I think about that now, as we find ourselves in this surreal and sad situation facing the COVID-19 pandemic. Many have said that our strength as individuals and as communities is being tested in this time. And that may be true. But to me, it seems more that our strength is being revealed in this time. Our leadership, our social safety net, our community institutions, we are seeing them all in a new way as a result of these circumstances. And yes, some have been found wanting and will require our focused attention in the days ahead. But other things, I think, are shown to be stronger than we imagined. Our networks of relationships, our collective will to overcome difficulty. In these areas, too, we are experiencing an epiphany. And that is this, that we can be strong, that we can address problems we have long claimed we did not have the collective will to correct. We can pay closer attention to each other and take responsibility for one another's well-being if we so choose. And I think it's part of our spiritual task as we endure this season, and certainly as we emerge from it, whenever that is, to allow this new self-understanding to take root to ask what it makes possible and to allow it to push us to accept new challenges, to envision new systems and to solidify new communities which draw on the strengths we never before knew we possessed. We are indeed as strong as our strongest link. And even as we grieve, we also go on perhaps not to exactly the life that we had imagined, but certainly one which nonetheless has joy to share and relationships to celebrate and new ways of being to explore, ways which are healthier for us 
and for this creation my mother taught me to love so much. We will find a path through this wilderness if we play to our strengths. And my hope is that it will be one that will make those who come after us marvel at the strength of our spirit in this hour. Thanks, and let's get back to the music. Here's a song called White Sandy Beach. I saw you in my dreams We were walking hand in hand On the white sandy beach of a bay. We were having so much fun on the way, sandy beach over the Sound of the ocean soothes my restless soul. Sound of the ocean rocks me all night long. Lying there in the sun on the white sandy beach of a bay. Sound 
look up the ocean Soothes my restless soul Sound of the ocean Rocks me all night long Last night in my dreams I saw your face again We were there in the sun On the white sandy beach of the rain On the white sandy beach of the rain on the white sandy beach of The next song I'd like to do is uh, another famous song written by Carlos Andrade, made popular by the Gabby Band, called Moonlight Lady. Eyes dark as a midnight sky Not too many men forget your sleep Moonlight lady I'm strong as a valley Say 
I have a sending blessing for you. May these words bless you on your journey wherever you go from here. They are words from the collection Praying with the Earth from one of my favorite luminaries in the Celtic tradition, J. Philip Newell. So hear this. In lives where love has been born today, thanks be to you, O Holy One. In families where forgiveness is strong, thanks be to you. In nations where wrongs have been addressed, where tenderness has been cherished, and where visions for Earth's oneness have been served, thanks be to you. May those who are weary find rest tonight. May those who carry great burdens for their people find strength. May the midwives of new beginnings in our world find hope. And may the least among us find greatness, strength in our souls, worth in our words, and love in our living. Amen. I want to thank all of you who have tuned into this. I'm really grateful that you were able to spend some time with us. And I hope you'll consider joining us again in some format. Please be sure to check our website, ccukailua.org slash vespers, or our CCU Facebook page for updates. You can also join our email list in either one of those places. I also just want to say a huge thank you to Melody Heidel, our Vespers coordinator who plans this series. And of course, tonight, a huge thanks to Harry Koizumi. You have blessed us with your music and brought peace to our hearts, and I am really grateful. And now, even though I'm the only one here, I'm going to go ahead and stand in for all of you who I know would say this if you were here with me. Hanaho! Last night I dreamt I was returning And my heart called out to you But I fear you won't be as I left you Miguel Haku I remember days when we were wise When a world was small and a poor And you have lingered there, my sister i
But I fear I am not as I loved you. Me quiero hago mi loca. is a strange thing it cannot be denied it can help you find yourself or make you lose your pride move with it slowly as on the we go please do not hold on to me we all must go Then I will greet you as a thing with a sharing of a brand new song. Last night I dreamt I was returning. Accept me as you find me. Me quiero haku me oka. Me quiero haku me oka. Me quiero haku me oka.